What's up everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're doing a full day of eating today. Uh, people love the full days of eating. I love watching a full day of eating. Uh, so we're gonna do my full day of eating. At the moment I'm hitting around about five, I'm hitting about 5,000 calories pretty much there or thereabouts. Um, I do have specific macro goals, um, but I'm really just focusing on hitting my protein. And because carbohydrates and fats are so high anyway, I'm not too worried if they if they kind of skew a little bit or you take some carbohydrates out for some fats, especially when appetite is gonna to have to be an issue that you've run into at this amount of calories. I'm sure there's many people watching this who've had to eat 5,000 calories before. It's not easy to do every single day for about four or five months. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do the best that we can. This is not the perfect diet. This is not gonna be, uh, this is the best diet that you can do or anything like that. This is just what I do to get the food that I need in uh, in order to grow over the off season. So we're about five, six weeks in. Uh, I'm at 5,000 calories, it's only gonna go up. I probably reckon we'll probably end up about six uh, towards the end of the season. So we'll keep periodically doing these over the next few months and see how much they change. So meal one. We have uh, two bagels, these are sourdough bagels, not for any other particular reason than that they taste nice. Uh, and there's four pieces of bacon in there. Yes, I eat bacon. Not, I'm not too worried about the quality of pork because I have a lot of other high quality meat throughout the day. Um, I have another 20 grams of protein from, this is Arla protein, protein yogurt, um, just so that I can get enough protein for the meal. And then I have 400 mil or grams of cranberry juice, which is 20 carbs. So in my head, like this is like 80, 80 carb for the bagels, 20 carb for the for the cranberry juice. There's probably like 10 or so in the yogurt. And then there's probably 20 grams of protein in the in the bacon, 20 grams of protein in this. There's probably 10 grams of protein in the, in the bagels. And then there's probably what, like 10 to 15 grams of fat in the bacon as well. Not really too much. Uh, I'm that plain guy who just puts bacon in a bagel and some brown sauce on top, and that's that's good enough for me. I don't even toast it because I'm just like get the food in. I would toast it if I was a bit a bit hungry, but I'm not. But this is like this is literally a thousand calories. I've got up on my fitness bar here. 120 carb, 25 fat, 60 protein, uh, 988 calories. And this is easy for me to eat. This is absolutely nothing. And uh, so I'll eat this roughly about 60 to 90 minutes before we go work out, and then we'll uh, have our intro. So into intra workout, I've started to push this up a little bit just because for me, I don't have, like my issue in my off seasons is always the ability to eat. I always find it pretty hard to eat. And honestly, when I get to about 5,000 calories, I find it quite difficult to get all the food in. I have to be really, really on top of it because my appetite's rubbish for whatever reason. Uh, so I've started to bring in a little bit more intra. So I have 20 grams uh, of EAAs, I haven't got the name in any. Uh, but 20 grams of EA, which is like a highly digestible protein. And I do 60 grams of, this is Recarb by Foresight. Uh, and it's basically like a highly brown cyclic dextrin mix, uh, which is another just really easily digestible carb. Passes through the gastric line very, very easy. Uh, so that's 60 carb and 20 protein. So this is like 360 calories while I'm working out. And it just like, when I'm drinking it, it just feels like, it just feels like I'm drinking a drink. It feels like I'm drinking some water. It doesn't feel like it bloats me. It doesn't feel like it sits in my stomach. Uh, it will sit in your stomach eventually. Like if you get to like 80, 100 grams maybe. I've been to 110 before and that was pretty hefty. Um, but it's a really, really good idea to bring in. For, not only for an eating window, but there is a little bit of research to suggest that a combination of a highly, highly digestible protein, highly digestible carb, intra-workout, may help mitigate a little bit of that muscle protein breakdown because you're providing the muscle with the energy kind of on demand because it just you put it in within two or three minutes it's passing through the gastric line and it's in your bloodstream and it's ready to be utilized so uh, intra workout is a good one for me um, and i'll just start sipping this as we warm up so we'll finish off this um get my pre-workout done and we'll just uh, all right so while i fill my car up with add blue uh, where I live right now at the moment, they've just extended the Ulez, which is like the uh, the, low, the low emissions in, in London. So I drive up my road, I have to pay £15. 20th, 25th of October it comes in, it's like four weeks to the day. 
the 25th of September, so I've got a diesel car. So if anyone has any recommendations for an electric car, I can swap them in the next month. Let me know when I'm going to be paying 15 pounds a day to go to the gym. Alright, we get some. And we'll see you at the gym. Oh, I get to. So something that uh, something you might be surprised about is that I actually don't only use cuffs. I think there is some value in gripping something and lifting up. I think your biceps get involved, I think your forearms get involved. Something that you do completely ignore when you're just using cuffs. So every now and again, maybe one every four lateral raises, I'm gonna throw in like a, a gripped one. Whether it's a, a dumbbell, whether it's on this, this machine here, usually it's this machine because I'm lazy, um, but I'm always going to do something where I'm gripping and I'm using these muscles to... So we're back from the gym and it's funny how life comes full circle, isn't it? Um, I'm going to say about four years ago, I invested into a wallet. Uh, I wanted something small, chic, classy, um, and most importantly, something that could just fit in my pocket easily. Um, so I found uh, the Ridge wallet, which is the wallet that I've had for the last four years, or the money bag, the money clip that has on the back, the card holder, whatever you want to call it. Um, and four years later, Ridge wallet have reached out to your boy. Uh, which is absolutely crazy. So I'm working very, very briefly with Ridge Wallet here. Um, and I have used this wallet for the last four years, like I said. If you want to compare it to a normal wallet, this is a normal wallet, this is this. It's a third of the size, it's thinner as well. And really, in this day and age, like, what are you holding in your wallet? Are you holding cards? Yes. Are you holding cash? Very, very rarely, you know, so which is, which is where the Ridge Wallet comes in. So I've got a new one here. This is a burnt, this is burnt, titanium burnt. So you've got the cool different colorway there, like the two tone on it. This has got a money, um, like a money clip on the back versus uh, the money clip that I've got. It's like a money holder versus a money clip. So they sent me out a new one so I can put all of my, my new cards in here. Uh, I'm gonna use my one just to show you how it works. So I don't have to transfer all these over, but all you do is there's like a little thumb holder here. You just push it through and you can honestly just pull these straight out and just come through your cards. You take a card out, you put it back, you cross through. Um, so I want to shout out to the Ridge Wallet. Small, affordable, just looks super, super nice. It's also RFID proof. So not that I've seen it very much, but sometimes if you're in like a big city, you know, you might not know this, but people can come by or maybe you're on the train and people can tap your wallet. If you've got contactless, people can just tap that and, you know, take 45 pound off your wallet. Um, and this is actually completely proof of that. I don't know if I've ever been done like that because I've been using this wallet for the last four years. So I'm going to say people have tried and failed, um, but I honestly love this wallet and I can't believe that they've reached out after using this for four years. So thank you guys, thank you to the guys at Ridge. Use the first link in the description box. Um, that will directly help your boy. Uh, which is obviously the point of this. So yeah, I appreciate you guys if anyone wants to try it. Um, if not, no worries, but trust me, it's better than your wallet. So we're gonna come into post-workout meal now. I literally just had my delivery of meals, which is fantastic. Me and Amy kind of get like half each. Like I said in the, maybe a couple of previous videos ago, this just offers me like super flexibility. Also, it just allows me to eat a little bit earlier. And when you're trying to eat 5,000 calories and you're trying to eat so many calories in the day, Part of it is just, can you get started earlier? So I'm trying to eat a little bit earlier, you know, maybe eat a little bit closer. To, like when I used to get home, I used to maybe chill for 45 minutes an hour. I'm now kind of bringing that down to 15, 20 minutes. Um, I usually just pick any one of these, whatever I'm literally fancying. I'm not too worried about the macros because I know that I'm gonna slightly manipulate this meal, but every single meal is gonna end up right around, right around that 60 grams of protein, which is obviously what we're trying to hit per meal. And so I'm most probably going to choose a rice meal because they come a little bit higher in carbohydrate, which is 80 carb. Um, and then you probably get like 20 fat from these as well because it's like chicken thigh as opposed to chicken breast. Um, I'm then gonna just throw 
150 grams of cocoa pops into a bowl for my extra carbohydrates. So it's literally gonna end up, I'm gonna say, this will be 120 carb, this will be 80 carb. So it's gonna be at least a 200 carb meal, just from carbohydrates. There's gonna be at least 60, 65 grams of protein, and there's gonna be at least 20 to 25 grams of fat. And this is gonna be meal two. Um, obviously we've already had like a thousand calories for breakfast. We had like nearly 400 intra workout. We've got another 12 to 1300 now. So we're closing in on 3000 calories, which is good because it's about one o'clock just before, uh, just after midday. Uh, and we've got a couple more meals to eat. So I'm gonna get one of these in the microwave, sit down and eat, and uh, we'll catch you at the next meal. Uh, we're on to meal like th like th three and a half. I count my intro as a half. <laughs> so if I'm honest, this is me being honest, I probably order out five times a week. Yeah, that's probably fair. <laughs> <laughs> Five, well, yeah. five times a week, but I'm on a Wagamama kick at the moment, so I'm getting Domboris, which is literally like teriyaki chicken, teriyaki brisket. I usually buy one of each, and it works at about 13, 1400 calories. Um, this is said Domburi, and it's literally like carrot watercress. In fact, I'll open it for you. So it just comes with like carrot, you got your beef, there's loads of rice underneath, there's some kimchi here, and then there's like the watercress here. So I honestly have. So I honestly have one teriyaki chicken, one brisket, and it works out about 1400 calories, about 200 carb, because there's loads of rice in there. There's also a little bit of teriyaki sauce on there, and it's a very, very good like 1500 calorie meal. So we're already up to like 4,000 calories, and we've still got uh, another meal to go. So we'll get this in, we'll watch some TV. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up with my last meal. Because my last meal is probably one of the easiest out of all of these meals to eat. 70 grams of whey, which is 60 grams of protein. And then you saw two yogurt pots, no, two, two rice pudding pots. I've been having a little kick with these rice pudding things at the moment. 300 grams of that, which is 411 calories, plus 35 grams of honey, so that takes me right to 4,900 calories. And this meal is another 100 carbs, another 70 protein, and that takes the total macros for the day to 280 protein, 670 carb, and 125 fat. So I usually stick right around 280 to 300 grams of protein, and I'll mix up where my carbohydrates and fats come from, depending on what I think is going to be the easiest to get in, in terms of food. And, uh, that's it. Like it, it. Like it's literally just four meals. It's four big meals. Um, may have to add in more as we go, but you can see like it doesn't actually. I don't know. It might do, might get to you guys, but for me, it doesn't seem like a lot of food. Like there's a lot more room to put on this. Like I could put loads of fruit on top of this. I could like raisins and things. Like I could add some more oil into my shakes, like I used to do. So there's many, many more hacks that I have in place, or in my back pocket, I should say, ready to. Uh, to, to use them when we need to in the off season. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this meal. I'm gonna chug this shake down because it's 60 grams of protein done. And then I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this uh, this rice pudding. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is a full day of eating. And uh, see you guys soon. Peace.